Hi everyone. Um, welcome to the channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spending time with me. And uh, we are moving quickly into, this is for Tuesday. This reading is going to be for Tuesday, um, uh, August 20th. So I uh, am trying something. I'm going to try to start recording the day before again, you know, well, not again. I, I was thinking this. I didn't say it out loud. <laughs> um, but I uh, there will be days when I know I just have to do a video that morning because the energy is changing or whatever's going on. But I do want to try. I think it'll give me more flexibility to do it this way some, some sometimes. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so it is actually Monday afternoon, uh, moving into the evening. And this is going to be for Tuesday. All right. And... I specifically tapped into the energy of Tuesday the 20th. So it's a very different energy. It's a lot calmer. It's a lot more, um, even, I would even go so far as to say cohesive and coherent. It isn't the chaotic energy for the, for, for Monday, for today. So tomorrow I felt like this was the message. Give love. Now, that doesn't mean just throw it around to everybody and anybody. Of course, you always want to come from a loving place in your interactions with people. But when you give love, there is a specific connotation with that message for Tuesday, for this reading. It is not the give love um, of compassion and well wishes and I wish you the best and have a good day. That That is giving love. This is a different kind. This is something a little bit more intense. This is something that is heartfelt in a different way. I think we're moving through the choppier waters and just the difference between the Monday vibe and the Tuesday vibe is, is incredible. And I am so happy that it seems to be calming down. All the fears and insecurities and what ifs and unanswered questions and just, it all seems to be quieting a little bit. Part of that is because I feel as though the collective is going to start coming into a different headspace. You're going to think more of yourself so that it doesn't bother you if there are irresponsible people or uh, inconsistencies in your life. What it will mean is that you will approach every situation from a loving place because you realize that's who you are. That's what you have to offer. Man, yesterday, well, it, I'm already in Tuesday mindset. The Monday reading and the Tuesday reading are all, they're both starting out very, I, it, it's, uh, the, normally I just get straight into a message in the cards and it's a little more specific, but this is a very different energy we're in right now. And the caution I'm receiving from, from spirit is that be mindful of the decisions you make and the words you speak about yourself, but also to others. Because any decision you make right now, it's not going to be so easy to come back from. So really, if you say things, mean them. This isn't the time for lashing out. This isn't the time for bravado. This is the time for genuine, earnest, heartfelt, compassionate truths, regardless of what those truths may be. Mm. Ah, this is so good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. Now, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Tuesday, August 20th. We're, we're going to go to the pulp tarot. 
So you know what that means. If you've watched this channel, if you've been with me through any videos, you know that when I instinctively reach, and I didn't know what cards I'd be pulling today, but when I instinctively reach for the Pulp Tarot, they're going to be direct messages. They're going to be direct. They are going to be, um, there, there's not going to be any filter. And I know I just said come from a place of compassion. They wanted me to look at the bottom of this split because I'm shuffling. Three of Cups. I don't think it means that there's any kind of dalliance going on or infidelity or anything like that. I feel like this is, um, could be. Somebody could have their eye on someone. Watch your back. But it could be, I feel like it is more of, um, I'm hearing, lift your glass. Someone's making a toast. So that's a very positive thing. For some of you, it might be someone with a roaming eye. But I think for the bulk of the majority, the message was, Let's all lift our glasses in a toast. So that's a very positive message. That means a celebration. Okay, so yeah, Pulp Tarot doesn't pull any punches. It is, this is the deck that is sort of um, like, well, if you, if you don't want to know the answer, don't ask a question. All right, so what message? Mother and Father, God, Spirit, Guides, and Guardians, Beloved Elemental, all that is right and holy. All that is coming from a place of genuine truth and compassion. What is the message? Oh my gosh, these cards are everywhere. What is the message for the collective today? What is the message for the collective on Tuesday? All right, one fell. Well, actually, it was propped up on the leg of the chair. Oh my, oh, oh, oh dear. Oh my word. Oh, oh, <laughs> and, they, and another one was sticking out the side of the scattered deck because it all just landed, however. Oh my, oh my, oh dear. Well, huh. huh. And then when I picked up the deck to kind of put it together, this, this one literally just rose to the top, so I'm taking it too. I am pretty happy about that card because, uh, yeah, wow, okay. Let me show you why I'm ooing and aahing and kind of dismayed. Dismay, being in dismay would be the right way to put it. Um, a little trepidation here. We've got four swords, four cards with swords, the suit of swords. The last one that was just wiggling its way up to the top, the nine of cups. That's a sassy nine of cups. All right, but you know what? That, my word. Okay, so we've got two of swords. Uh, we've got a king of swords. We've got a three of swords. And then we have a seven of swords. Oh, y'all. This is wearing me out just to look at it. Let me figure out, I need to figure out what area of life this is talking about, because this could be a reading for a whole lot of different things. And if the vibe I'm getting is don't say it unless you mean it and, and give love and come from a place of compassion. And then we end up with four different cards from the swords suit. Okay. Hmm. However, we do end with this woman and the nine of cups. This is someone who is having a party and this is someone who is celebrating herself and she is loving life. All right, so, okay. I'm gonna turn this over to spirit. Give me a minute to let them step in. Spirit guides and guardians, help me to understand how to read this. Help me to understand what it means. Oh, it doesn't have to be bad. Oh, <laughs> okay. 
okay, there are two ways to look at this. I immediately was looking at it as though, oh no, someone's making a decision and it's going to lead to heartbreak and oh, somebody's going to run away in the night and leave and da 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 This just looked like heartbreak to me, especially with this one, just nothing but, nothing but heartbreak. <sighs> okay, no one wants that. All right, however... And there is that possibility. Let me read it the way I, it, it would normally if you were just pulling the cards and reading it. And then I'm going to ask Spirit to step in. So someone is making a decision, and I feel like it's a, a masculine energy. Okay? But she's going to be just fine. Um, but a masculine, I feel like, is making a decision. And it is... There is heartbreak, but it's because of this. And this is a sneaky card. This is someone who is a thief. This is someone who's stealing away in the night. This is someone who's breaking and breaking in and betraying. This is a betrayal card. This is someone with disingenuous intentions. So, you know, if you've got someone in your life that has disingenuous intentions, whether it's a boss, whether it's someone you're involved with, whether it's a spouse, it could, it could be a spouse. It could also be, I'm also getting for someone, there is an in-law. And I don't think it's like a mother-in-law, father-in-law. I feel like it's... Um, an in-law who's married uh, an adult child, maybe. But I feel like there's someone who's being disingenuous and wants to run off with everything, okay? So there is an element of being used for financial gain, okay? So that's one way to read this. So if that is the case, um, hide your valuables, but all... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not funny, but it's funny. All right. Um, so if someone comes over, hide the valuables. So it's it, metaphorically speaking. But is someone also hiding their heart? Is someone not opening up fully? And that's what it feels like. So there's a cup there. So I guess there are three ways you can read this. One way you can read this is that someone with disingenuous motivations, um, could be looking at someone else as a paycheck and that is never good um, it is a hurtful thing and it's a betrayal it's a betrayal of trust another way you could look at this is that there is a there is a masculine who is in his head all up in his head about what to do what to make how to make a decision he feels like there's an either or instead of it doesn't have to be one way or the other and he's worried that no matter what, there's going to be heartache. <clears throat> but this, this is, I feel like he's not going to handle it properly. Like there's, there's a stealing away in the night with, with someone's valuables and that valuable could be someone's heart. So that's not cool either. And it's because this person is confused and doesn't know what he wants making the decision blindfolded. This isn't blind justice. This is just being blinded by, you know, either greed or whatever else it is. And you can reverse the gender on this. So it could be someone else too, but it's just that there happens to be a king here. And I do get that feeling. Someone may start playing up to this king and being all nice when they have really got some kind of financial motivation in mind. So this king needs to be aware. There's a whole lot of ways to read this. All right. Spirit is also saying another way to look at this. Another way to look at this is that, yes, there is a king making decisions. 
but he's tired of being brokenhearted and he's tired of betrayal. He's tired of it. And he's putting all of it down, putting all of it down and saying, mm -mm, no, this is a self-sufficient person and she's a lot of fun. She can be. So this, this person is saying, why do I have to make a decision that always ends in heartbreak? That's not going to be for the mass, bigger part of the collective. But I do feel like, Spirit, help me out. What is the dominant reading? What is the dominant energy for these cards? Someone is putting down the burden. Someone is putting down the burden and ready to celebrate. Someone's ready to have a good time. And someone is putting down the burden, putting down the heartache, putting down the fear. And I'm hearing that phrase, there is nothing to fear but fear itself. Well, if you agree or disagree, it doesn't really matter. It's That's what I'm hearing. So I think it is the fear of what could possibly happen that is greater than the reality of what is around. What a strange reading. Come on, Pulp Terra. Let's, I'm not finished with you yet. We need to dig into that a little bit more. One more? All right, let me do one more. All right. What is going to be the outcome for that King of Swords? What is the outcome? What is the outcome for the King of Swords? What is the outcome... What is the outcome for the King of Swords? I need more information. I need more information to accurately judge this. What is the information that you can give me? Give love. Come from, from a place of compassion. But then we have that sword vest full of fear and brokenness and greed and betrayal. All right, the only ones that came, there were three that came out. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So someone is having kind of that, I would say it is a dark night of the soul. They, they feel like they are surrounded by heartache, greed, betrayal, and they don't know how to, they don't know how to accurately gauge a situation. Now, here are the clarification cards. There are, there are three. We have the Ten of Cups. And that is a profoundly beautiful card. That is everything that that King of Swords could hope for, but never seemed to find. But then we have, because it's groundedness, it's hearth and home and family and joy and celebration. Now, what is that? Is that a six? Yeah. Six of swords. So we have one swords, one card of swords. But they're in a boat and they're moving away. And where are they moving toward? Because the way this deck is, the way this is looking, okay, that is moving in this direction. This is the last card that came out. And this is the six of wands. This is a ticker tape parade. This is a victory parade. This is celebration. And that first card that the spirit wanted me to look at, the three of cups, and I heard lift a glass and a toast, a celebration. Well, six of wands. Victory. Winning. Winning against greed. Winning against, uh, oh, interesting. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, winning against infidelity. I just heard in winning against infidelity. So maybe that betrayal wasn't just a betrayal of um, trust in other areas, but a, an actual betrayal of trust in terms of fidelity. Well, that just is horrible. That really is. That is a terrible thing to do to someone. So that makes it so much more clear. And maybe the other way to look at that one nine of cups, 
with little Miss Sassy Pants. Mm. Maybe that was the affair. I don't know, because it did kind of come out and it was sideways. I was just assuming, hey, she's living her life doing what she wants. Doing what she wants, taking up time with somebody else's person. But that person went along with it, so hey, just as guilty. Man, this is sorted. I did not expect this. Um, I'm going to have a drink out of my Give Love mug because that makes me feel happier. <laughs> this is, this, I don't know what to make out of this. I really don't. If this is your reading, stay strong, honey. Just stay strong, okay? Mm. All right. So here's the outcome. Male or female, change the genders, do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Okay, so the clarification, I feel like, and this is a general reading. This is just a general reading, nothing more. Okay, so someone found out they were being cheated on. Someone found out they were being betrayed. Someone found out, or that's how they feel. Someone is brokenhearted. Someone wants to put down that burden but they don't know if they should just disappear or stay or what they should do. They just feel like everything's been ripped away from them. So the clarification, they had to go through that in order to find their 10 of cups. They had to go through the betrayal, the heartache. They had to go through it. Otherwise, they would have stayed in a situation forever with someone who is a cheater and a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You know, someone who is ripping them off and stealing from them. I don't, I don't, that, that's just, that's some hard stuff to deal with. Your whole life being a lie? That's all, I am just flabbergasted by that. However, if that hadn't happened to show what was really going on, they would never have found their Ten of Cups. So yeah, they had to start over. They're starting over. Whomever this is, starting over, packing up their little bag, and sailing away in that little boat. But where are they going? They are going toward. This is what they want, and this is what they're holding in their heart. They're not going to get bitter. And what are they going, what are they going toward? Their victory parade. And that three of cups from the beginning, the very first card when I was shuffling to begin with, and it said, open it up and look at that. Always do what Spirit says. That was a card of celebration. And when I specifically heard, lift your glass for a toast, that's a coming together. That's a union. This is a victory. So this person does find this. This person gets their Ten of Cups. This person gets their happy ending. Okay. So sometimes the message, what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing from Spirit, is that sometimes we may not understand why we have to deal with certain things, why we have to experience heart heartbreak why we have to feel like we're losing everything i feel like this person feels like male or female whichever i feel like this person felt like he or she had to lose everything to rebuild and start over again because they are rebuilding and they are starting over again hmm so I ask, is this is this still the accurate the correct message about this this give love? Is that this this more gentle energy? Is that an accurate energy for Tuesday? And I just heard yes. I keep this on my desk. You can't see it, but it's it's right here. It's soapstone that's been carved into a heart and it's roses. And I have it in oh gosh. Uh, a little kind of big, actually, selenite bowl. <laughs> you can see I didn't get the tag off very well. But, um, and in my mind, that always means purity of heart, cleansing, purity of heart. 
roses, a heart, and in a selenite bowl. And if you know your stones, you know what I'm talking about. I feel like whomever this is for, you've come through the hardest part. Let yourself believe. Let yourself cherish and believe in the power of love. Just because you have been betrayed in the past doesn't mean that that will always be your future. Okay. Well, that started out a little dicey. I wasn't sure where it was going, but it actually ends up being a lovely reading and a very positive and a very hopeful one. So treat yourself with compassion. It does distinctly feel as though the more um, jumbled, chaotic emotions are calming down. And that hopefully, just like that little boat, it wasn't on a rough sea. It reminded me of the gondolas, you know, where, where the little person's got the long stick and they're pushing the boat around. The rest of the journey should be much easier than where you came from. That's the message. Okay. All right, everyone. I think that's it. Uh, wow. That was exhausting. <laughs> that was truly exhausting. Um, thank you for being here. Take care of yourselves. Treat yourselves well. You absolutely deserve the best that this life and the universe has to offer. Come from a place of compassion for yourself. And hopefully others will treat you in, in the same way. And if they don't, well, then maybe you're still caught up with that user, abuser, betrayal, betrayer and cheater. You deserve better. Okay. Thank you so much. Sending love and gratitude to you. And before you can give love to anyone else, you have to be sure and love yourself. Bye.